What's up, you freaking geniuses? So let's go over this isosceles triangle word problem. Also, if you need a quick intro into isosceles triangles, I'll link a video to that in the card above. But if you're good, let's just move into this example. All right, so this problem here says, find the length of each side and total area of an isosceles triangle. Okay, so before doing anything, all I'm gonna do is draw a picture because a picture always really helps. Okay, so there's my isosceles triangle. So you can see these two sides are the same length and then I have this third side that is different, right? So it says find the length of each side. So let's start there. Let's find the length of each side here. So it gives us some information, thankfully. So it says the base is equal to 10 feet, right? So we know that the third side, the different side right here would be 10 feet. Okay, what else do we know? Well, we also know the perimeter, right? It says it's 50 feet. So the perimeter is 50 feet, and if you remember the formula that we just learned, it was perimeter is equal to the base plus the two sides, right? So filling in some information, the perimeter is 50 feet. So we're going to say 50 is equal to the base, which is 10, and then we're going to add the two sides, which we don't know yet, right? Okay, so we're going to try and solve for S, for the sides right here, right? So solving for S right here, I'm going to get rid of the 10, first of all. And what you do to one side, you do to the other, okay? So then these tens cancel out, they go to zero. And then on this side, 50 minus 10, that's equal to 40. So 40 is equal to, so then on this side of the equation, we're just left with this 2s. Okay, so now solving for s, we need to get rid of the two, so we're gonna divide by two. And what you do to one side, you do to the other. Okay, so then these twos cancel out, so on this side, we're just left with s, and S is equal to 40 divided by 2, which is 20. Okay, so 20 is equal to S. Or in other words, we can write it as S is equal to 20, right? Well, 20 what? What are our units? Uh, well, we're working in feet, right? So S is equal to 20 feet. Okay, so then we just solved for our S's right here. So that means this one is 20 feet. And this one is 20 feet. Okay, so... We just found the length of each side, all right? So now we just have to find the total area of this triangle. And there's two formulas we could use, but the one I'm gonna use in this case, I'll just use this one. The base times the height divided by two, okay? So all we have to do is figure out what's the base and what's the height. So in this case, we already know what the base is, right? It's 10 feet right here, 10 feet. So the area is equal to the base, which is 10, and then we're gonna multiply that by the height. What's the height? Well, remember, the height of a triangle is measured straight up and down, right? So from the very top to the very bottom of the triangle. So the height would be right here. That's the height. Okay, so how can we figure out the height here? Well, in order to do that, we're actually gonna to have to use the Pythagorean theorem. So remember, the Pythagorean theorem applies to only right triangles. But something that you might notice is when we drew this vertical line, we made a right angle right here, right? So then we basically have our right triangle right here, right there, okay? So remember, we can use the Pythagorean theorem when we know two sides and we're missing one side, right? So we know this side, which is 20, we also know this side down here, right? So what is this What is this length down here? Well, this would be, write it right here, five feet, right? Because the total length down here is 10 feet, right? So if we cut that straight in half, then that means this length right here would be five feet. Now, the Pythagorean theorem, if you don't remember, is a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared where A and B are the two shorter sides of the triangle, and C is the hypotenuse. Okay, so we'll say that this side, let's call that A, we'll call the height right here B, and then 20, this side right here, is the hypotenuse, right? So this is C. Okay, so let's fill out our formula here. So A would be five, right? So five squared, and then plus, the height, which we don't know, so we just have it as b squared. And then that's equal to the hypotenuse, which is 20 squared. So 5 squared, that's equal to 25. So 25 plus b squared is equal to 20 squared, which is equal to 400. 
Okay, so trying to isolate B, right? So we're going to get rid of this 25, so subtract 25 from each side. So then on this side, these 25s cancel out, so we're just left with B squared is equal to 400 minus 25, which is equal to 375, okay? Now, in order to get rid of this exponent, the 2, we have to take the square root, okay? And what you do to one side of the equation, you do to the other, right? So then this square root and this square exponent cancel out, okay? So then on this side, we're just left with b, and that's equal to the square root of 375, which I'm just going to round in this case. You can plug it into a calculator if you want. We'll put that as 19.4. Okay, so remember, b was the height, right? The height right here. So we're going to say that the height is approximately 19.4 feet, right? So going back to the area problem, the area is equal to the base times the height, and we just found the height to be approximately 19.4 feet, right? So 19.4. And then we're going to divide this whole thing by 2, okay? Now simplifying this, 10 times 19.4, that's equal to 194. And then we're dividing this by 2. So then 194 divided by 2 is equal to 97, okay? And what are our units? Well, everything's in feet, right? So our units are feet squared, right? Because we're talking about area, so we have to include the square. So then area is equal to 97 feet squared. So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or want to see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below. Also, there's a couple playlists attached that I think you'll find helpful. So definitely check those out, and I'll see you there.